Welcome to the part three of the Pinnacle Homes and Projects uh, video that shows the work in progress on the structure that we are building or on the new tech house that we're building. So this house is a 12 meter by 4 meter uh, to just round it off which gives a maximum of 48 square meters besides the bathroom that is about 6 square meters as you can see. Um, this is about 6 square meters, it's a good size of a bathroom that gives an allowance of uh, a good size for a toilet basin and shower even if one needs to install a bathtub. So this is the bathroom. Uh, there is still going to be board lining and ceiling, the cladding throughout the house and on the ceiling as well. There is going to be insulation first, the isotherm. So these boards are called uh, OSB boards and the thickness of these boards is uh, 15 millimeter thick. These are OSB boards. They are very beautiful boards. Um, some of the people they like to put these ones also in the kitchen as a rustic finish. Or now when we finish, let's say we've done everything completed, some of the clients they will ask certain areas be um, installed the OSP boards or remain with OSP boards as a rustic finish. As you can see they are quite beautiful, especially on the kitchen area. You can also have this rustic look very beautiful uh, some they like them also on the sitting room maybe just one wall just to give a nice design it depends if the client here want that to we'll do that because i see there's a lot of leftovers here so where i am that's the main bedroom bedroom one so bedroom one is basically about between 12 and 15 square meters it's a good size of a bedroom and this is the window this window is uh, what 900 by 600 if i'm not mistaken uh, nine by six and when they are in their bedroom very beautiful views as you can see very beautiful views if they stand in the bedroom because this area has got beautiful views so they will also be board lining and ceiling insulation isotherm uh, we also use the right isotherm, the 135 millimeter thickness. That meets the required uh, R value or the resistant value. And then there will be board lining and ceiling. Then there will be skimming of the walls, painting, and tiling of the bathroom. The bathroom is going to have a full bathroom tiling. Yeah. So you have all three walls on tiling the floor on tiling and then the outside wall on board lining and ceiling and painted the ceiling is just going to uh, be skimmed because you cannot uh, tile the skim and then uh, the, the, the ceiling of the bathroom and then we'll paint there will be an extract, extractor fan uh, so that when they mist when someone is bathing this is the window for the bathroom 900 by 900 uh, when someone is bathing, then he takes the mist away. You prevent the um, molds and other uh, elements from affecting the bathroom area. The DB box will be here, just on top here, just behind the door. We have got a maximum of one, two, three, four five windows same size nine by six and then a nine by nine um, bathroom the doors we have the solid doors these are the doors that we give as the inside finishing so this door has already been installed it's closing well opening well locking well there's not any problem let me demonstrate so uh, 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 closing with its um, lock. I've locked it. 
then I'm opening it. So these are the views on in bedroom two. This is bedroom two. You also see the beautiful mountains there. So there's beautiful views because the house is elevated uh, right on top because of the foundation. So this is the floor and there will be topping or street we street the floor 20 millimeters to 25 millimeters so just above the we'll flush with this uh, 114 frame yeah, this is the floor you can see it's on level very beautiful floor eight panel door we are going to vanish the door um, ceiling patterns are in already and then what is left is to install the windows this afternoon and the door here and the door here this afternoon and that has the electrician is coming this afternoon and then we will start um, expecting the board lining and ceiling to be done they will start closing the boards He's coming this afternoon and he's working on too late. So this is the door that we give, eight final door. And this is the window, six by nine. Beautiful views if you are standing inside this house. Yeah. And even if you are standing here, you will be seeing the neighbor there. It's another window here. If you are also on the bathroom, you'll be seeing beautiful views of uh, the neighbor also. So for security reasons, you can be able to see all the angles of this house. So yeah, that's the inside. The trusses. You can see, because it's a pitched roof. So let's look what is happening. Let's take a look at what is happening outside. Outside, there is a ramp that we have built. The builder is completing the ramp. And the ramp it has been filled with uh, rubble. And we also filled this whole area with rubble. When you are on top here, beautiful views as well, mountains. That's not, uh, that side is Fishu. This is Nuduk, uh, Glen Kenites. So beautiful views. Eh? We are going to fill all this area with a uh, rubber to capacity. The builder is easier. Eh? Let's take a look. Uh, what he's doing. Is nearly completed uh, completing this uh, ramp. So, like we explained yesterday, we couldn't take the ramp right to the uh -huh. wall. This is the foundation wall. That's the suggestion of the client because, like I did explain last uh, night on one of our videos, if we had taken it to the wall and used the foundation wall as the um, wall of the found of the foundation of the ramp meaning that we're going to build one wall only uh when we're going to be here you can see the effect it was going to be very high and then the effect is that we're going to have a very steep ramp without a landing because we're going to be somewhere somewhere where we're going to make a cave and then the ramp is in the cave the effect is that um, we are going to have problems because this is house is for someone who is physically challenged on a new chair we do not want to create a situation whereby should there be any mistake in either uh, the client is using an electrical wheelchair or is being pushed and we are at a higher elevated ramp 
and then it, uh, something happens. Let's say there is the, the, the floor is slippery or there is any accident. The wheelchair is going to was going to spin backwards and on a very very dangerous uh, position because it was going to be very high, which can result in serious injuries or some results that we didn't want to imagine. So we created a landing from there. Go up, 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 and then we create a soft landing here, and then we come. Uh, there is a marking that shows just number, half of number two brick. We come here and then we are on the door where the ramp, the ramp ends. Right? So that is the reason why that was done. Why we had to have a deviation. Uh, uh, the deviation from the suggested uh, foundation of the ramp to the wall of the foundation of the house to move it to a little bit in which is about three meters I think but then it also gives an island in terms of the garden this can be a very beautiful garden here where they can plant lawn flowers and the client can sit here it's a beautiful garden which has got a wall it can also be a place where they can sit Rye or something like that. There is also another space here. You see? So that's what we are doing currently. Uh, the rubber doesn't mean that that's exactly where the ramp is going to be. They are just filling it to capacity. They will stamp and they will also level and they will get it to the right size. Just like they were doing on the foundation, right? So this is an eight panel door. So normally these doors, they also require to be treated, we're going to vanish, and to be protected from the outside, which I think there will be a canopy. Normally we suggest that there is a canopy in front of this house, just to protect the door from the elements of weather, the rains. Uh, look at the mountains. Imagine the rains that are in this southern peninsula, they can be very strong, and the effect is that the, the rains they normally hit on these panels and then that's how the leaking starts it's caused by a situation of not protecting to the canopy outside there's nothing wrong with the door as you can see these are coming straight from the factory properly sealed but if the rain is too much then it can also result in drops getting in from the inside those are some of the complaints that we used to get and then we eliminated them by suggesting the canopies or a veranda. Yeah, very beautiful OSP boards, yeah. And then um, I got a feedback uh, from one of our viewers on YouTube who also asked that uh, what would be the effect in terms of building the uh, steps after the house because they say that they have a similar experience at their house because when you get here where these steps join the position of the house there's always problems with the ants and the termites so i did answer that uh, first of all this house doesn't have steps the plan of this house has got steps and a and, and stoop but there's always deviations that happens in constructions that are allowed because of circumstances that the builder finds themselves on the site with regards to the work, uh, to the client's requirements. So we, we, we deviated from the set plan because the person who is going to stay in this house, she's physically challenged. I like to use that word, physically challenged, because I believe no one is disabled. So she's physically challenged, and we had to build a ramp for the wheelchair, be it an electrical wheelchair, be it a physical uh, a wheelchair that one pushes physically. So, because it's a ramp, our ramp is going to exactly uh, just below the door. So, it eliminates anything, all the elements that can come in termites and, what, and the ants and so on. I understand their concern because it's coming from this whole area where we are filling with rubber. 
as you can see, all the soils, the termites and all those elements, but they won't because it's a ramp. Which I think perhaps if it was steps, then it was going to be like that. Let me take you through the inside here. Yeah, there will be a toilet pot. And the toilet pot is normally here. The plan by starting tomorrow. So there's going to be a toilet pot here. If I'm not mistaken, and a basin either of the side. This area is the shower. So you walk in, it's a walk-in shower. You walk in into the shower. And it's good that it, it is a walk-in because of the situation of the client being physically challenged and being on wheelchair, it becomes very conducive for them to use this bathroom. So it's very user-friendly, physically challenged, people-friendly, right? And then port, I think the port is going to be a lower port. We are going to provide the standards. I think there is ways they use that, which I don't want to dwell much onto that. And then there is a basin here. Then the plumber will run his pipings, including the 110 pipe that goes right around the to the main wall and also his waste pipes. He's gonna run the piping for the shower here. Yeah. Obviously, you'll see them tomorrow once they are laid. It's going to be a geyser. I don't know if it's going to fit in here because the trusses that we have are very small. The geyser is likely to be outside. It's likely to be boxed somewhere here on the corner. That's where the geyser will be. Yeah. The kitchen sink is going to be here. Double kitchen sink and cupboard. So there's plumbing also coming here. Just here. There will be a kitchen sink. That is all for plumbing. Oh, extractor fan. Uh, the extractor fan is going to be inside here, just next to the light. Yeah, that's where we normally put it. Yes, that's the bathroom. Then there's wiring of all the electrical. There will be plugs here. Three double plugs on the kitchen. Three double plugs on the sitting room side. A double plug there, perhaps two double plugs, maybe one, one, and then also that, that room, two double plugs, one, and maybe one, a stove point somewhere here, TV point somewhere there. Oh, so outside there is the builder who is doing the renovation of that house. It's not our work. It's their own business there. The clients, they are moving into that house. But then on top of this house, just by the DSTV, um, it's not yet confirmed, but um, the next project that they are calling us to build will be to build a house on top of this house. So we are going to come back, hopefully, and build on top. We build on top of existing structures, and it will be very beautiful, because you can imagine when they're on top, the beautiful views that they will be seeing there. I think they will be able to see some of the views from Simon's Town side by the sea, the fish hook side just before Glen Cave. Um, especially from that angle there, it should be very beautiful. And seeing these mountains, the fish hook mountains, yeah. Yeah, so this is the end of the video.
uh, treated timber, for those who want to know the timber that we use, everything here is SAPS approved aggregates. This whole house has been 114 by 38. Very, very strong timber, very solid structure. On top of it, 15 millimeter ice by uh, oil and then 38 by 38 by 6 meters um, ceiling uh, framing patterns. And then we've got some 152s for our trusses. Yeah, so everything that has been done here has been perfectly done according to the requirements. New tech is the registered one. The, um, new tech from Everright, this one. A very thick new tech, as you can see. So thank you for watching. We'll keep on updating our YouTube family with regards to the work that we are doing. Tomorrow, there will be some of the videos as well.